Ooh, I haven't. Oh, magic workbench, you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Amigas Have Problems. On today's episode, the Amiga 3000 here, yes, this is what is left of the 3000 after I took it apart, and uh, I had an issue where I can only get, uh, I don't know if you can see this, I can only get composite or RGB video out of the unit. I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you what the fix is. Let's turn it on. And it takes a second. There's no hard drive. It's the 3.1.4.1 ROM. I have only RGB. If I touch VC47, just tap it, you can see, oh my god, there. Now watch, I'm going to touch VC47. VC47 is a trimmer capacitor. If I just touch it, look at that, it goes out. Just literally touching it. I don't know why it's doing this. So once again, we're going to turn it off. We're going to turn it back on. Alright, once again, nothing. Touch VC47. It comes on. I'm going to get the multimeter, which is right here. The outer ring of it is grabbing 2.33 volts. It is a fine line of the area where the VGA comes on. It's back on. Let me turn it off. I'm going to turn it on again. I wish I could show you the VGA side. I probably can, but I don't know at the same time because I only have one splitter box. So it's either going to be this. Oh, look at that. How did I get a recoverable alert when the unit was off? And the VGA popped up at least, so that's good. Before I put this back together, I need to make sure it works over and over and over again. Let's go to the whole screen here. That's Logitech. Uh, there. So this is the RGB side. I won't be able to see my screen, so I won't be able to tell if it comes up until I watch that. Because I'm watching it just like you. Alright, so this is component. Now I'm going to flip this to number two. If I go full screen, this is uh, RGB, this is VGA. There it goes. It's smaller. Alright, so let's turn it off one more time. We're going to go both, and that's a problem. I don't know why I'm getting a recoverable alert on a startup. Alright, that is VGA. Let's do a test. And that's not a good idea. Let's put the book on it. Because you know me, I'll short something okay, so else out. Sitting on top of the Amiga 3000 book. So now with nothing but the, the, the VGA here. Where is it? Here. And uh, we'll do composite too. I just want to fire up workbench. And I'm going to use a generic hard drive light here. Just so I can see... Hard drive booting. It's still booting. There's my desktop. Okay, so let's go to the full screen here. Alright, so this is VGA mode. Let me see if I can make this a little larger. And I'm not going to adjust the uh, overscan just yet because when it's on this capture card, it's a little weird. And this is a VGA to HDMI to an HDMI combiner. It's just into a 4K input. It's it's not always perfect, and you might see some lines here and there when we're uh, doing on the VGA side. So with it on VGA, let's go to both. I'm gonna switch this to number three, which is or number one, which is composite. Ooh, and, and something's busy. What is it busy for? You can tell it's a composite when it says SCART for this source. I'm hoping that I got this VC470 ironed out. If you just 
bump that sucker, it's off. Here's this VC70, and to give you an area of where it is, here's the Denise chip. All right, so we're going to stick right here. Let me get off of this test. So here's the Varda battery. All right, here's the whole 3000 motherboard. This is the memory. Here is the, the 6830 and the, all the other chips. Here's Agnes and Denise and Paula, the area of the battery death. This is the trimmer cap that is this is your crystal where this adjusts the frequency to keep your RTC in line. Yeah. But what I think happened was in an attempt to adjust this This is a problem child. Now it's listed as VC70 on this board, but it's actually VC470. It's a typo. This also runs in conjunction with Amber, which as you know, right here, she's the girl that controls this, which is the VGA, and this, which is the RGB. By having this screwed up right here, just totally screwed me. I couldn't get VGA to work. So luckily, thanks to Mr. John Hertel, Chucky, you are amazing, man. Uh, this schematic he gave me a while back just to help with my repair when I had this uh, Varda issue and all this crap was blown out and I was doing those Denise traces. So I can't thank him enough for all the help he gives many people in the Amiga community. Alright, but how about we put this sucker back together? Okay, now I believe we're ready, and turn it on. We have hard drive light. Ooh, I have it. Oh, magic workbench, you. It's June 15th, 2019 again. Just making sure internet's working. 90s internet looking stuff and works. Now this is only an 8 color, I didn't even turn it to 16 because I don't care. These are the makers of magic workbench and MUI. All right, let's quit. Or MUI at least. Quit. I'm going to put the cover on this turd and get it out of my sight before I break it again. So thank you for watching. Namaste. Cheers. And I hope you enjoyed watching me put this thing back together. Bye.